Hi guys, uh, Paul here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video comparing the uh, Thater uh, two-band uh, uh, silver tip badger uh, uh, knot to the uh, Thater uh, three-band uh, badger knot. Uh, a discussion came up about a week or so ago on one of the Facebook groups about which which of these two knots had better backbone. I had posted that I I felt that the uh, three-band silver tip had better backbone than the uh, uh, two band uh, Thader silver tip, uh, which I felt was kind of floppy. So uh, somebody, somebody else posted. That, I think it was Jeremy uh, posted that uh, that he thought his two band had better backbone. So this got me to think, and it's been a while since I used the Thader two band. Um, it was one of the first uh, uh, quality brushes that I got, and uh, when I first got it, I was mainly just using soap and or cream and bowl lathering it and that uh, wasn't face lathering. When I made the transition to face lathering, uh, I found that I did not really like that brush as much. It, it didn't seem to have as much tactile feedback. It, uh, I do like a little bit of scrubbiness uh, for my brushes, um, and uh, it just didn't seem to have that feel to it. And it, it also seemed a bit floppy to me for face lathering, and just wasn't, uh, it wasn't really uh, uh, doing the job for me. So um, it got, got kind of put away for a while and uh, I haven't been using it. Um, I had gotten some, uh, recently gotten the uh, uh, Thater uh, three band silver tip in, with the bulb knot, which I really liked. And uh, I still hadn't really gone back to the two band. Uh, and so just last week I'd been kind of trying the two band silver tip and the three band um, alternating on, on different days to see uh, if maybe my impressions were wrong. So today I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to shave, use one brush on one side of my face, one brush on the other side of the face, and I'll let you know uh, what I think about the two of them, and uh, you can kind of see how they perform and uh, make a judgment for yourself. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be using, um, this is a, um, I can't read that. Uh, one of the problems with the Mike's labels is that they do kind of fade with time, but this is the uh, Mike's uh, Barbershop Shaving Soap. This is really one of my favorite scents. Really a nice, uh, nice scent. And uh, so we're going to be face lathering that with the um, first brush. The, the first brush we'll be using is the uh, Thader. This is the uh, 4125-3. This is a 28 millimeter uh, silver tip uh, bulb shaped knot. And uh, the other Thader is uh, this one. This is the uh, two band uh, uh, fan shaped knot. Um, and I'm not sure what the model of this one is. It's been a long time since I got it, and I just don't remember what the model number is. But uh, um, it is a smaller knot, so you know I got to take that into account. But the, you know, allegedly the loft of the knot should be set, you know, appropriate for the size of the knot. So shouldn't really that shouldn't really impact the backbone that much. So uh, there you go. So we'll go ahead and get to, get started here. I'm just gonna face lather. I'll face lather the right side of my face with the. Uh, the three band, and then I'll use the other one on the left side of my face. So I'm just going to load the soap here. Uh, I did sort of shake the brush out a little bit, uh, but it's, it is on the wet side. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, just kind of cre start creating a ladder here on the puck and loading the brush at the same time. And then I'll lather this side of my face. So. Alright, now we're kind of getting there. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Alright, let me set this down for a second. Just gonna wet my face. And we'll go ahead and start lathering. So as you can see, this brush has pretty soft tips. Um, it does spoil a little bit, but I think with the bulb shaped knot, uh, it seems to give it a little bit of scrubbiness, and I think it it actually makes it feel like it uh, has a little bit more backbone to it. And I think as far as the Thader brushes go, this shaped knot really, really uh, is... Uh, uh, 
kind of the cream of the crop in their uh, lineup. I absolutely love this brush. Um, it, uh, it's pretty dense, but yet it doesn't seem to be too much of a lather hog, which, uh, which is great. And it's soft, but yet still um, has enough scrubbiness to, so that you feel like you're really working the lather into the whiskers. So, Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So there we go. We'll just go ahead and set that on that side of the sink. Hopefully remind me to uh, use that and uh, we'll go ahead and get the uh, two band going here. And I'm just doing the same, just the brush has been soaking and I just uh, basically shook it out, gave a couple shakes into the sink and then I'm going to go ahead and just load that one as well. And we'll give them a good loading. About 30 to 40 second loading, which is about what it takes for my water situation. And that seems to work out pretty good. And I, I did choose to use Mike's. Mike's is a pretty dependable soap, um, and uh, I kind of know how that's going to perform. I didn't, didn't want the soap to be a factor in, in altering my judgment. So there we go. Got that loaded up real nice. So just right off the bat, you can see just with light pressure, this brush splays. And uh, it is soft, and you know, the tips actually, to me, feel a little bit softer, and the brush just seems like it splays more than the, uh, the other, the other uh, brush, more than the three-band silver tip. Now this may in part be due to the shape of the brush, because this is a fan-shaped brush, and keep in mind that the fan-shaped brushes do tend to splay a little bit more uh, because they're flatter on top uh, so but again uh, looks like it performs pretty well pretty nice lather there so I'm just going to rinse my hands off here with the soap off the top I'll just set that aside rinse all this silky stuff off my hand Go ahead and clear off my sideburns. And for my razor today, I'm just going to use uh, um, my, uh, this is my Gillette Aristocrat. Um, this is a user grade Aristocrat. Some of it has some plate loss, but it uh, doesn't affect the shave at all. And actually, it's one of my favorite shaving vintage razors. And I've chosen today to use a Timor blade. Uh, and uh, I just recently picked these up at a, uh, the uh, at Rubinoff's, a local uh, barber supply place here in Phoenix. So I'll go ahead and give it a try. So initial impressions, I'm just on the first few strokes with the Timor, feels pretty smooth. Um, no pulling or tugging. Of course the test is going to come on the, the uh, subsequent passes as we start going across and against the grain. Okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and lather up again. As you can see, plenty of lather in the brush, and it, it seems to uh, dispense the lather. The flow through on the brush seems to be pretty good. So, so again, I, I just feel like this brush just does not have the the backbone. It, it, it takes very little pressure to cause this brush to splay, and the knot seems to kind of flop around a little bit. Um, it is a good performing knot. It does feel really good on the face. It's very comfortable and the tips are quite soft on this one. 
as well. So. So on that pass, I'm going against the grain on my neck. And uh, again, the Timor feels pretty comfortable. see over the next couple of days how the how the blade holds up but so far on the uh, first two passes still feeling pretty comfortable smooth no tugginess going against the grain on my neck so now we're gonna go oh it's hot today Again, same kind of pressure, but this brush just doesn't seem to spoil as much. And and I don't know how much of that is just the shape of the knot that that, that causes that uh, or what. But but again, I just kind of feel like this brush has a has a better better backbone and density um, without sacrificing softness. It's still uh, equally as soft as the uh, as a two band. And I will say this, the two band does seem to have a little bit better flow through it. And I don't know if that's just because it's not quite as dense as this, uh, this three band silver tip or what, but it does just seem to dispense the lather a little bit better. The flow through does seem to be a little bit better on this brush. Okay, so here we go, across the grain. And then against the grain on the cheeks. Okay, we'll do one more across the green pass here on the neck and then we'll call it good. Okay, on the third pass, the blade felt really good. Um, seems to be kind of settling right in. And uh, so all in all, pretty, pretty impressed with the Timor blade on the first shave. Um, seems to be pretty good. So um, I will be using that over the next few days and uh, um, I will uh, let you know my final thoughts on that. Um,
on some of the Facebook groups. So, um, I'll just uh, let you guys know what I think as I use it for the next couple of days, see how the blade holds up, see if it retains its uh, softness or, uh, or smoothness. Um, so anyways, there's the two brushes. Anyways, I still feel the same way. I feel like th this three band silver tip uh, knot has a, a better backbone and better density uh, with still pretty pretty good softness. Uh, the tips are real soft. Um, I, I just kind of, as far as the faders go, prefer this bulb shaped knot. It seems to work better for me for face lathering um, than this particular uh, fan shaped two band uh, silver tip knot. Great knot. The brush is good. It's nice and soft. Great flow through. Actually, probably a little bit better flow through than that 28 millimeter uh, silver tip knot. Um, but um, it just seems a little bit on the floppy side to me, and uh, and, and that's uh, just me. It, it may be just this particular uh, brush that I have uh, that that is like that. Um, I don't know. Um, you guys, if you have any. Uh, co comments, please uh, comment below. Uh, let me know if any of you guys have the uh, uh, two band. Uh, if if you if you are experiencing the same thing or feel the same way, or if, if maybe you feel different, I I'd like to know. I, you know, maybe I might have one that's just not quite as dense, and so it's a little bit more floppy. But anyways, they're both great brushes. I like them both. I probably will actually start using that two band a little bit more. Um, uh, even though it is a little on the floppy side, it's still a doggone good brush. I, I really like the flow through and the performance of the brush. Uh, so, um, so there you have it. Um, I'm going to be using a, uh, a new aftershave. This is the Fine Snake Snake Bite. Uh, this is from Fine Accoutrements. Um, th uh, one of the guys uh, posted on the Facebook group a uh, picture of this that this was just recently released. This is a uh, unscented. Uh, mentholated uh, alcohol-based aftershave. Um, I've been using this for the next last couple days and uh, uh, as many of you guys know I'm an alcohol or I'm a menthol junkie and so this is right up my alley. Um, I like the fact that it's unscented because I can use it and then not worry about it uh, conflicting with any aftershave I'm going to use. Um, people have asked do they have any scent? There's just a faint scent of menthol. Um, it does have a lot of alcohol in it, so when you first put it on, you get a pretty significant alcohol burn. But then uh, the menthol kicks right in, and the menthol in this is pretty strong. Um, it does not quite make my eyes tear up, uh, but uh, uh, the menthol uh, effect on your face seems to last uh, for, you know, for me, about anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and uh, I, I've been real happy with it. Um, it it's good stuff. Uh, if you like menthol and you want something that's unscented but want to still have the, uh, the a good menthol kick, uh, that might be something that you might want to try. People have asked me, how does it compare to Osage? How does it compare to the Vito's uh, Colonia Ice? I would say it's equally as cold to me as, uh, as either one of those. Um, it, it really has a good menthol effect, but it doesn't have a, uh, a strong or a, a scent like the other two do. So just depends what you what you want uh, anyways guys uh, I hope you have a good uh, weekend um, and I will see you soon take care bye bye